Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We're continuing our little hover effects series here. We've been using pseudo elements before and after to add some hover effects to some images here. And the one we got today is we've got an image with a little title that we've added there. When we roll over it, it's going to change into a bit of info. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. You see this quite often. Really easy to do. We've got to write a bit of CSS code for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it, manipulate it how you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down where we want to work. And I'll just add a new one next to this. I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. I'm going to roll down. I just want an image module for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. I'm going to use the image module today. There we go. And let's add an image. Yeah, let's add that one. Okay, so there we've got our image. If you want to, you can add a link right there. Or you can open in a light box. Anybody who doesn't know, light box is when you click on it, it's going to pop in and open up. A large version of the actual image itself. Don't need a background or a label. Let's go over to our design now. There's nothing I'm really going to do here. Over on here you can add overlays, alignment, sizing, spacing, borders, box shadow, etc. So let's go start writing some CSS and get our title up. So let's go over to our advanced custom CSS right here. And we're going to start in the before. We've got a pseudo class here of before, and we've got the main element, and then we've got an after. And the title is going to be in the for before. And when we hover over, we're going to use the after to change it into the content itself. So let's start here. And remember, this CSS will be down below the video. You don't have to copy it in real time if you don't want to. So it's content, colon and then open and close some inverted commas and put in what you want your content to say. I'm using capital letters for this. So I'm going to say sunrise or whatever you want to say, purple lake. <laughs> we'll put a semicolon after that. Now it's actually up there. We want to put it in the middle here. So we've got to position it absolutely. So we're going to say position absolute. And where do we actually want it? Well, in the middle. So let's say top 50%, left 50%, and then we'll offset it a bit with a transform translate. So we'll say top 50%, left 50%. And as you can see, or as you can't see, we need to adjust it. So A, it's up front, and B, right in the middle. So let's get it up front first. We'll add a fairly large Z index. So let's say Z index. Say 99. And it's there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is actually right there. Now we put the Z index in. What a Z index does, pulls things forward or backwards. So say if this image had a Z index of 4 and the content here had a Z index of three, you wouldn't see the content because it would be behind the higher number of the Z index of the image, which is four. If you change it to five, it would be on top. Great. So let's make sure it's precisely in the middle. So we'll do some transform. And then we want to say translate. We'll open some round brackets. And inside, we're going to translate by minus 50%, my minus 50%. That should keep it in the middle on all responsive devices too. 50%, comma, and minus 50% again. There we go. That's in the middle now. It's a bit pale. Let's make it so we can see it a lot better. Put a semicolon on there. We'll just say color. White, which is hex of FFF. There we go. You can see that better. I want it a bit bigger too. So let's give it a font size. And I think I used 20 picks before. Obviously make yours whatever size you want. 20 picks. There we go. That's a lot better. Fantastic. So we've got our image. We've got our title in there. Now what do we want to happen? When I roll over this image, we can click on it and pop it out into a light box. 
but I want that sunrise to disappear and I want some information to appear there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this just click anywhere in here control A will select everything control C will copy it and we'll put it in the after and it'll be a bit of a mess because the sunrise will be on top of itself and we're going to change that wording okay so where it says sunrise I want some info so I've got Lorem Ipsum up over here I haven't got any real content I'm just going to copy a bit of dummy text and we'll go back and we'll paste this in here and it's a mess because it's all sort of over the top of each other there which is fine we'll fix all this in a minute but we don't actually want to see this until we hover over it so let's say opacity zero which will hide it opacity means it's still there it's, it's just transparent opacity is transparency or see-throughness if you want so if I put opacity zero that disappears we're just left with our title and if I put go over to our hover class right here and this is common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing you'll see some icons appear if there's an arrow there you can set a hover state and a desktop state desktop is when your mouse is not on it we want opacity zero so we can't see it when we hover over it I'm going to say opacity one so we can see it and opacity goes from 0 to 1 and you can increment up in decimals 0 0.1 0 0.2 for different states of transparency as you can see it's back there on the hover state now while we're doing hover states let's go up to the before when we're hovering over it we don't want to see this at all so we'll hit the little arrow again hover state I'm going to, for this one I'm going to say opacity 0 which will make it completely invisible when we hover on it Great, so we're left with our little mess right here, which is our little hover stuff right here. Okay, everything's okay right there. Font size, I'm gonna take down 16 picks. Remember, this is for our hover state. So I'm gonna bring it back just for a minute so we can see it by putting that opacity to one. I've taken those, the font down a little bit, 16 picks let's give it some line height you see this little white line there it's because all the letters are on top of each other they have no height so let's say a line height and let's make that about 18 picks there we go and we've got it right there width wise I want it to kind of spread to about 80% of our width here so let's give it a width I'll put that right under our line height here I'll say width 80% semicolon and that spread that out nicely I want it to be in the middle and we want to give it a background when it comes in so let's give it a background background I'm just going to put in blue put in any color you want for a hex color or what have you there we've got a bit of background to it we can see it nicely there now let's give it a bit of padding to spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to go down one more and say padding. And let's give it say 20 pixels all round. There we go. That's perfect. That's just what we want to see. I would like to see that text in the middle though. So let's align it center. We'll say text align center. There we go, that's great. And I'd probably like to see through a little bit of that so we can see some of the image behind it. So just click on the little blue dot right there and it'll bring it up. You can change colors right here. If I roll down a little bit so we can see a bit more of it there. Let's click on that again. And down below you've got opacity. We can drag this down if you want to see some of the image bleed through there. You still want to be able to read the writing, which is fine. And that's great. Now we want to change the opacity back because we only want to see this on hover. So let's change that opacity back to zero. We've got this. When we switch to our hover state, if we roll back up just a little bit, we've got this pops in. Now the time it takes to go from this 
to this is going to be almost instant. I want to slow that down a bit. So in the regular state, not the hover state, I'm going to put a transition duration in the top one right here. Transition duration. I'll say I'm going to make mine quite slow. So I'm going to say one second. You can increment in 0.5 seconds, however, whatever timing you want. I'm going to copy this and I'm also going to put it in the regular state of our after as well. And like I said earlier, that this code would all be down below, so don't let it panic you. And that should slow it down and take a second to go from sunrise on hover state to our info when our mouse is on it. So let's save this and see what we've got. Save the page changes. Exit the visual builder. Roll on down. There's our little image. When we hover over, it's going to take about a second to roll up our little info box there. And it'll disappear when we go off. And if you click anywhere else on the picture, it'll pop out into a light box as we got the light box switch selected. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Like I say, it's pretty in vogue at the moment. Really easy to do with a bit of CSS there. There's several ways of doing this. And this will work with just about any module you, you choose to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.